So these are the SI prefixes, symbols, and meanings that I ask my students to know. Many of these you should be familiar with. Kilo, right here, about a third of the way down. Kilo means 1,000. A kilometer is equivalent to 1,000 meters. A decimeter is one-tenth of a meter. A centimeter is one one-hundredth. That's what this 10 to the negative second refers to. You can see that at the top of the table and at the bottom of the table, the powers of 10 change by three orders of magnitude each time. And for those of you who are into computers, you almost certainly will know the prefix that is 10 to the 12th, which is not on this table. You know that to be Terra. Here are a couple of mnemonics to help you possibly remember. Femto, 15, 15th. Nano, if you use your fingers and clamp your nostrils shut, you can say nano, negative 9. If you can remember that micro and mega are both 10 to the 6th or negative 6th, and say, okay, micro, let's see, what, is micro something small? or is micro something big? You say micro, micro is small, so that would be 10 to the negative sixth, whereas mega is something large, so that's 10 to the positive sixth. Deca is kind of related to, for example, decade, 10 years in a decade. That's sort of similar to one-tenth. There are 100 years in a century, so that's kind of related to centa, which actually means one one-hundredth. There are 100 cents in a dollar, so that's similar to one one hundredth. Here's another mnemonic. There are the prefixes that I ask my students to memorize. Giga, mega, kilo, deci, centa, milla, micro, that is actually a lowercase Greek M, nano, pico, femto, Braveheart is one of my favorite movies, got my kilt, dad, can't miss Midsummer's No Pants Friday, because William Wallace doesn't wear pants. If that helps, great. If not, come up with your own mnemonic or just straight memorize it.